so now i want to show you how we can exploit some applications you know that the vendors when they provide the patches to update their products is to make sure that they correct the security issues and now let's go to greenborn security assistant and let's look for our result from the target metasploitable machine let's scroll down and let's look for this program here vsftpd compromise the source package backdoor vulnerability let's open up so this this software here was designed and was in, embedded in a backdoor by the vendor but this was discovered and here we can see the affected version and look for the severity here 7.5 for, for this case this kind of situations how we can exploit look for the impact of exploiting this vulnerability this backdoor on this program you see the impact the attackers can exploit this issue to execute arbitrary commands in the context of the application and successful attacks will compromise the affected application so now i will show you how we can exploit this vulnerability right here we are going to definitely exploit this vulnerability and the solution for this is to as you can see here we have the solution the vendor fix the vendor provided the solution to fix this if you click here in this second link here i just click it and it's open right here we will see more information about this vulnerability all right so let me close it and now as you can see the, the solution type is vendor fix so the the fix is available was provided by the vendor but as we just as we scanned this machine and we detected it how we can exploit this vulnerability to exploit this vulnerability what we need to do just memorize this name here vsftpd let's minimize it i don't know for example what is the exploit i'm going to use but i know the name of the the, the program that is vulnerable uh, what i can do i can come here and search and let's type let's type here vsftpd and hind enter you see this is not auxiliary this is exploit i have one exploit to explore the vulnerability on this and you see here the version version 2.3.4 let's see let's compare here just to make sure that it's the same version exactly two three four so now let's go back the idea is the same we need to copy this it is exploit here cop and we need to use it to use it we need to type the command use control shift v and hind enter all right no payload configured don't worry about this information so now we need to see what are the configuration we need to do so now let's type show options as you can see we only have two options here we just need to set to use we need to set these two options only that but as we have the current settings here for airport we have 21 we will leave it like this we just need to provide the target for that let's set air hostess and type the target machine my meta table machine let me hit enter options again to make sure everything is okay so now i have the air hostess here and also the airport is set and these are the two options required so now what i need to do i just need to run let's type run let's wait found shell okay exploit complete but no session was created but it started again okay sometimes it fails what you need to do you just need to run the command run again as you can see here one session was opened right here so now i can type your name as you can see here we are in the metasploitable machine let's go again let's see sessions we have one session let's open up this session so your name as you can see we are connected to this machine here 
PWD. We are connected to this Metasploit table machine as you can see right here. And if we want, we can click Ctrl Z. Yes. And also we can start here Metasploit. We can start here, I mean Metapreter sessions you want to start metas interpreter is upgrading okay no problem but interpreter session 2 open it let's see the sessions now as you can see we have interpreted right here so you see that because of this backdoor this vulnerability i was able to access the target system using the ssh protocol and also using a backdoor embedded in a software this is the danger of use applications that are not updated you see with kali machine using openvest i was able to detect this these vulnerabilities right here and i was able to exploit now i showed you how to exploit so the idea here is if you want to test one uh, one more you can just do that for example vnc brute force login you can just come here and search for for vnc here the solution is just to change the password but the idea is the same if you want to find this point here you just need to do that let me go back here just type back and let me search for example for vnc okay as you can see but let's say vnc type let's say exploit just to see exploits for vnc this is how you you search for exploits here based on the software because in this case here we were exploiting a software a vulnerability in a specific software so the idea is the same when you select for example when you select all modules you will going to use you need to make sure you type show options options to see what you need to do what you need to do what you need to set to succeed with your exploitation all right this is all for this lesson see you in next lesson